today is Valentine's Day Eve. Boo. Dead boy, dead. We're talking about, oh, you going to be by Valentine? Ain't heard from him. Girl, I'm going to text him. Get out of here, bud. Come on, oh, you going to be my Valentine? Blah, blah, blah. Do you want to be my Valentine? I'm like, okay. Sure. Like, what you got planned? Oh, nothing. Oh, okay. Exactly. I got assignments I got to do. I got to go to the grocery store. Because I need a few things. I want some Oreo. It's so bad. I'm probably going to give me some Doritos, too. Because I need me some. No, I don't need no Doritos. No. Um, I need to go to the post office and take my grandma's and my mama's Valentine's Day gifts. Oh, I got class on Tuesdays now. I forgot to tell y'all. This man, because I have a research course. So I got class from 4 to 5.30. Or 5.30s. <laughs> on Tuesday and Thursdays now. Which is it's cool because I get to lay in bed all day pretty much. It's the same thing. I'm going to try to do like topics on the vlog. And my first topic that's been bothering me is T.S. Madison and Kaya again. Like, the impression I'm getting, because uh, something else happened. So, Kaya basically just said that, you know, um, she won't be on the the Queen's Court on Monday, which was yesterday for, for us, uh, for me. Um, and it was, it blew my mind because I'm like, okay, when are you coming back? And she was like, oh, I'm going to do the live on March 19th. I'm like, okay, so you under contract, so of course you're going to do that one. Um, and then Kai, not Kai, but T.S. Madison, she posted a video of her um, and saying that she won't be back until, she won't be back until March 19th. And in the promo video, it was mainly her and a little bit of Kaya. And just like one clip of Kaya. I was like, okay, so you coming back with a new host. On March 19th and that's the date that the host can come to be a part of the show got it and Kai is just self-sabotaging herself like you can just like why can't she act like a friend towards T.S. Madison we don't know what happened behind the scenes and that's and that's the truth we never know what what uh, T.S. Madison did to to Kaya to have her acting like that because her, her mood was shifting through the past couple episodes and T.S. Madison was the one acting a fool so I'm just thinking to myself, did T.S. Madison try to take over the whole thing and it just turned Kaya off and like changed the whole dynamics of it? You can tell Kaya wasn't with the whole courtroom thing. Like it wasn't that deep for her. You get what I'm saying? It was just something fun for her to do. She just enjoyed roasting celebrities. That was her favorite thing. She was doing that before T.S. Madison. And I used to watch her before T.S. Madison too. I'm going to keep watching her. Even if she continues to do like her once a year uh, Christmas roasting, the ABCD, and she go through the list of the celebrities. Cool. I watch it, but would I watch um, T.S. Madison? Mm-mm. Because T.S. Madison isn't funny to me. She was always that person that I enjoy watching her, like, reactions to Kaya. Like, she, her her putting her mask on her face. That was just hilarious to me. Like, you can't do a, a episode of that, though. I wouldn't watch an episode of her reactions and her titty bounces. That's just me and my personal opinion. I love T.S. Madison, but after this, I'll probably unsubscribe if she come back with somebody that's not Kaya. That's me messed up though kaya could kaya and t.s madison they two grown women y'all could have worked that out and figured it out like it's not that deep t.s madison should she was like okay she was overcompensating she was moving too fast she was trying to upgrade all these lights and get all these systems and get all this this that and the third girl we don't need they didn't need all that we don't need that as an audience i enjoyed them in their living room i would get a snack a meal for them you hear me i would see it on my youtube i'll be like okay this is gonna sit right here i'm um, give me a snack and I'm come back in two three hours and watch this and just clear my little schedule for that moment now when i see it i'll be like okay i'll just catch it tomorrow in between the class or something when i'm in the class maybe i'll catch the first 15 minutes child all that titty bouncing and shoveling and the tight rider and the the juju bees the bones I enjoyed the sponsorships because they need that, but outside of that, girl, what are we doing? Like, just get to the reads and the roasting. I don't need all of this. Oh my god, all these props, y'all. If I wanted a prop, I'd go to a theater. So I decided. Oh, sorry. So I decided to go to Best Buy. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I decided to go to Best Buy and get these Janet Jackson CDs before they take them off the shelves, and I'd be mad and I feel like I missed out because I feel like they're gonna be collectible eventually i know this lady messed with a black man listen this white lady um in the grocery store right 
you I can't explain the scent. I she smelled like my grandmama. And only black grandmamas wear this church this church scent, right? I walked past that white lady, I smiled at her. I said, hmm, you remind me of a black woman, but I ain't gonna say nothing. Girl, this lady walking out the grocery store with her black man. That's why that's why you smell like a black church grandmama. Girl, uh, she was reeking of pews. I was like, my goodness, she was re reeking of a Baptist church. That's what she was reeking of. Okay. So I found four CDs. None of them was Pharrell or Janet, but it's okay. I got Michael. I got Destiny's Child. I got Michael again. And I got my favorite, Kendrick. Ah! Now this one was the one my favorite. This is my favorite one. I'm probably going to use this one. This is probably going to be a collectible. Because they said they phasing out CDs now. This was the most expensive. Yeah, they phasing out CDs so it's like, you know, let me go and try to collect as many as I can before they start, you know, before they go flying off the shelves and people want to start selling them for $100 and that's going to be me. Let me find a Walmart because I need a new ox court and Best Buy was trying to charge um, $30 for one. Girl, do I look like I'm about to spend $30 on an ox court to you? Y'all, I just had to come and say this. I was about to take my clothes off, but I was like, you know what? No, let me say this. So, for the past two days, the toilet right here next to me has been out of order it's clogged right i go in there and it's like just a little bit of pee in there from the person that clogged it right go back again i try to flush it just try to see if it'll go down nothing but there's a little bit of poop in there now i'm like okay at this point if you see that the toilet is clogged why would you go and use the toilet and I went back today and there's like blood in it. And now, like you, it's like they're disgusting. Like, I'm so tired of this dorm life. If you go to college and you go off to college, maybe you're a freshman or a senior in high school trying to go away to college. Girl, bring some bleach. Bring Lysol wipes. Bring, bring your own toilet paper. Bring your own little soap. Let me show y'all. Bring your own little soap. Because females are disgusting. People are so nasty. Okay, but anyway bring your own little soap this is a dollar at the dollar store because our dorm bathroom it, it hasn't had soap since the beginning of the semester and mind you it's the middle of february so yeah and people still use it and don't wash their hands so bring clorox wipes to wipe down at the toilet seat or the knob sometimes when you don't want to touch them sometimes you can just use a tissue and do it but like that but sometimes that bathroom don't even have tissue so i have to end up using clorox wipes just to open the door and get out safely without any germs um Bring your own spray if you don't like to leave your own scent. Go just, I got bleach down here for the toilet so just in case it does get clogged or if there's like nasty little poop stains and stuff inside, I can just put the bleach down in there and it'll go away. Girl, I'm funny acting about stuff like that. Like people are disgusting. Why would I bend my coochie over a toilet that's clogged? Why would you do that? Girl, that's nasty. And then what if some and somebody pooped some more in there? What if what if the, your black the backsplash from what's already in there comes up into your booty hole? So now you get other people's pee and doo doo up in your booty crack because you decide you want to bleed and poop all in the toilet. And then on top of that, there's no soap in there. So you're bending your coochie over to a toilet with sewer water in it. And then you just fake washing your hands underwater and then touching everything and dirtying it up. You're, ugh. I'm a clean person. Like, I always, I'm always cleaning on the vlog. Y'all know how I am. I like to keep my area tidy. I'm a very neat and cleanly person. I try my best. I know I may not be the most perfect, clean person in the world, but I put forth an effort and I think about other people. And I wish in the dorms, like, people would actually care. Like, the other day, there was coffee grains in the in the shower. Why not put the coffee grains down the toilet? It's right there. Like, this is the shower, and the toilet is right next to it. What was the difference? I didn't understand. Or even down the sink. Or even in the, in the I don't know, the trash. I don't know. But you know what? It's okay. Speaking of leaving, y'all. So they posted the um, graduating list. Like the, the candidates for graduation, right? And guess whose name is on the list? <gasps> My There I am. Me. Hey, y'all. I haven't vlogged all week and it's already Thursday. Excuse me. This, I'm telling you, these past like seven days, I've just been doing straight work. Yesterday, I was in the library from, I went to the library at one point and then left, came back to my room, went to sleep. 
and they went back and still was there until like 11. Girl, I was like, I'm going to get this work out the way. Y'all not about to play with me. And I got all my work done. And I started, well, I'm almost done with my personal statement. Like, I'm halfway through it. I got like a page, which is crazy. I was just in there like this, girl. I'm about to tell y'all my whole life and this personal statement. Y'all going to hit me today. I am, I got a couple errands to run. I need to um go get some nail polish for my toes. Cause I do my own toes now. In the winter time, I just do my own toes. Cause there's no point in me going to the pedicure place. And um, I need to get some band aids. Cause I cut myself real bad. I think I told y'all, but I cut myself real bad with a razor on my like my ankle, and it hurt so bad. It's like this long piece of meat that I just took off, and it was in my razor. I was like, oh my god, I was just bleeding all over in the shower. I'm like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. But um, so I'm a grown woman. I should know how to shave. But I need to go get some band aids. And um, maybe some like peroxide or something because it's starting to burn at this point and it's not cute. And I need leggings, so I'm going to Fair 21 and then I need gas. Okay. Hey y'all, so I really didn't record when I went to Fair 21 with any of the other stores because it was just like it was not a lot of people in there and that would have been awkward. I went to Fair 21 and bought more than what I needed. Excuse my oily face because it's hot here, it's like almost 70 degrees for some odd reason. I went and I bought things I didn't need. So let me pop y'all up somewhere so y'all can, we can go through this together. Um, some band-aids and some nail polish from Walgreens. This was $15, it's like the gel, Miracle Gel, so no like, I don't know, I'm gonna try something new because the nail polish I was using, it was staining my um, nails and it was turning them white, so I had to throw that out. Okay, anyway, that's my Forever 21 stuff. I spent more than I was supposed to, but it was just a sale. I was like, okay, this is so cute. Ain't nobody in here, so let me, you know, go shopping. The first thing I got was this cute little top. It got ruffles on the on the rim and the peplum. I guess that's how you say it. The peplum sleeves. I love these. These are so cute. These are so 70s. But it was $9. Ain't that cute? This was $5, y'all. This is like a little church dress or something. Something classy, something cute five bucks for this dress i'm like girl i ain't i ain't walking out of here because i went in there for two things and that was two pairs of leggings girl i came in there i came out with a bag full of stuff um next is a three dollar shirt it's like a little going to class shirt something simple something cute nothing special okay then i got this little sweater crop top pink ain't that cute cute for ten dollars and it got the little tie at the bottom but you know that's probably tape yeah it's like that's cute and then I got my leggings. Cause my leggings that I have now, they starting to get holes in them. So I just like, let me go scoop, scoop over here and buy some more. But I'm not going to that Fab 21 anymore. I'm going to the one in Newport News. Because the one in Newport News is bigger and it's better. And they don't hound you when you're shopping. My girl, would you move out the way? Um, so I got a black pair and a heather gray pair for my down days. And then I got this cute top. Those were two for $7, the leggings. And I got this top for nine bucks this is a size small hopefully it'll fit if it don't fit i'm gonna lose a little weight and make it fit my last shirt i've been wanting an oversized shirt like this for the longest because i love oversized t-shirts that you can tie at the bottom with make it to a little crop top or something yes it's my favorite so this was nine bucks isn't that cute it's the little stripey stripes so cute okay i'm done shopping for real. i got stuff over here that i haven't even worn yet my mom's gonna kill me when she's sick it. but this was only 37 bucks like let me see yeah it was 37 dollars for all this stuff one of these things ran up for one buck i don't know which one was it but three dollars three dollars four dollars four dollars four dollars two dollars one dollar girl la 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 yes but anyway i'm about to eat my panda express and um finished watching the Versace American American Crime Stories, I think it is. Not American Horror Story, American Crime Stories. Versace edition. Girl, it's kind of good. I'm like, okay. Versace.